Hello, and welcome back to <laughs> Aussie and Christian's World of Insanity. World of Insanity. <laughs> Yes, once again, the Joker is out of town, so the dynamic duo is back again. But were we Batman and Robin? Is that what that is? I don't, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I, just, I just figured dynamic duo because it's just the two of us, and that's um, a duo. And yeah. dynamic, was the first, dynamic duo is the only duo that came into my head. <laughs> I'm sure that's a thing. Dynamic duo. That is Batman and Robin. A South Korean hip-hop twosome. <laughs> oh. That consists of rappers Choiza and Geico. Oh, but who is who? That's, uh, that's the question choice is the one on the left geico is the one on the right <laughs> <laughs> um cool well so i mean game of thrones was on last week and that concludes game of thrones chat for this week <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to have a double whammy next time yeah and it's it's meant to be a pretty good episode next time as well because there's going to be apparently a 45 minute battle scene so uh, me and rich might be a little bit we'll how long is each episode next one's going to be about an hour long so it's going to be like 15 minutes opening and closing yeah. and then just 45 minutes in the middle yeah. of all well, war. Yeah, it's because it's coming to the final series. I guess they're just going going for it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, For me- a show that's got a reputation of killing off characters, do you think it will just end with everyone dead? There's a very good chance. <laughs> the- it's, it's just going to be aliens come down and just kill them all. <laughs> it's it's going to be something completely sort of out of nowhere, like a meteorite strikes Earth. Yeah, and it turns out that this was Earth before the dinosaurs had existed, <laughs> or something like that. Oh no, I was wrong. It was Earth all along. All along. <laughs> finally made a king out of you me. Yeah, you finally made the throne out of me. Oh, oh, is that what they do in like the later series? Is make the throne out of their dead? Yeah, victims. they're like yeah, all out of bones and that. Yeah, they, they ran out of swords, so they started using the bones. Yeah. <laughs> And make swords out of the bones and then make a Ooh. throne out of it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> there is a character who likes to boil his uh, defeated enemies and then wear their bones as his armour. That, that's, that's been quite a traditional thing throughout, like, warriors in general. Yes. Is that they'll keep some kind of souvenir from their victim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a string of ears. Ooh. Mm. Like, like Tim Shaw, Tim Shaw, Tim Shaw. Of course, yeah. All the teeth. Tim Shaw, all teeth, the teeth. Teeth are plenty. That's what they call them. Teeth all the way down, <laughs> <laughs> like a shark uh, <laughs> or a sarlacc, mm. or or Earth with turtles. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I mean, turtles I are just big teeth. Yes, <laughs> they are the teeth of the world. Yeah, T- teeth of the ocean. <laughs> they they swarm together and form giant mouths to to clear up all the plastic. <laughs> yeah, like how how, how um in like Finding Nemo, the schools of fish could like make diagrams and stuff. Yes, out that's themselves. exactly it. <laughs> the ocean communicates with the mouths of turtle. Well, who, who are the lips then? Would it be like dolphins oh. or something, or eels? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it'd have to be like the softer, rubbery yeah. type thing. It's like weird or fish fish that like have the weird human face or something with the giant <laughs> lips wait what <laughs> there's like a fish with like human features it's like um it went when the greek gods were making all their various things like the chimera and everything that's got the head of a man <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> one of them was a bit shit and <laughs> just made a fish with a human face <laughs> it's like yeah it's the what they can make depends on like their power levels yeah so zeus and all that lot were just bashing out all the like <laughs> ultra cool looking ones like the serpents with 90 heads and stuff and then like who's who's probably like the worst of the greek gods oh there's like mi- there's millions of them in there that's what i mean like who's well, the lesser one that's kind of the it'd be like mess, one of the fates or something of one of them yeah <laughs> Just the, the apprentice of one of them just tried his hand at making something. It's just like, oh, no, Steve, don't. Just, just don't. Just don't. Just leave it to the professionals. I love how you. I love the name you went for, Steve. <laughs> Steve, yeah. Steve. <laughs> Greek, Greek god Stevacus. <laughs> Stevacus Totalus. Oh, the Stevacus Totalus. Oh, that reminds me. I did um, on the way home. I just I can't remember what I was thinking about, but I had the idea of oh, I wonder. I've never done one of these tests where it determines what Hogwarts house you're meant to be in. Oh. Um, it's, it put me in Ravenclaw. I did a couple of them. Okay. Oh. So just... I've, I've done a couple over the years. 
Well, I, sorry, I interrupted. Were you going to finish that sentence? Not really. No, okay. <laughs> I have done a couple over the years, and I usually fluctuate between Slytherin and Hufflepuff. Mm. <laughs> They're like two completely opposite yeah. ends of the Hogwarts spectrum, and I'm kind of like in the middle. It's because it's because we're well-rounded human beings. We don't just conform to one thing. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we're shades of grey, not black and white. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, I, I got that I'm a little bit of good and evil, so... Yeah. So like I did, I did too. I took screenshots. So the, the first one put me okay. at like a third Slytherin, a third Ravenclaw, uh, about a quarter Gryffindor and then the rest Hufflepuff. It's so like 12% okay. Hufflepuff. But then the, the second one put me at 62% Ravenclaw and 28% uh, Hufflepuff and, uh, and so on. And like zero Slytherin. So uh, yeah. Uh, so what I'm taking from that is probably Ravenclaw. Yeah. Like, You'd like to be in Slytherin just because you have got a bit of the sort of... Because I'm an edgelord. Craftiness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you are... Pro- out of the three of us, you're probably the most intelligent. <laughs> it's not about intelligence, though. Really. It's like... Because I'm a great slacker when it comes to work, and at school I was a slacker as well. It's just about... But, it's about wanting to know everything. <laughs> yeah, you aren't yeah. really a slacker in knowledge, are you? you no. You don't do the paperwork, yeah. but you like to find out new things. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, I can see that. Because I was thinking about it, and I was thinking, everyone knows Gryffindors are brave, Slytherins are sly, hence the name, Ravenclaws are clever, (laughs) and then Hufflepuff are just the rest? (laughs) What what are they meant to be? I always figured they were kind of like the really nice people, they're like the kind people. I thought it might be like, reliable. Maybe, maybe. Um, Hang on, I've looked it up. Dedicated, hardworking, fair, patient, kind, tolerant, modest and loyal. Yeah, that's it. Like the patience, kind, tolerant yeah. sort of. That's what I imagine. They're like the the chilled out ones. That if you do something to them, they kind of just sort of shrug and go, "Oh, okay, bye then." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if you make plans with them, they'll always like try and keep to the plans. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> he he was never a Hufflepuff, though, was he? No, no, no. <laughs> A bit like what the, he normally says. He normally Raven. says Ravenclaw, yeah, yeah. But we, we haven't seen him do one of these tests. No, we haven't <laughs> adjudicated. No. <laughs> that That's why I've always been sort of like happy to say like I'm, I'm a nice Slytherin because yeah, I'm yeah. half Hufflepuff, half Slytherin. I'm a good guy. I'm just a little bit mischievous at times. Yeah, yeah, that's like the thing, I, yeah. Can be a little bit of a selfish dick at times as well. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's not like, it's not the house of evil people, is it? It's no, just that, yeah, yeah. I'm not evil. I've just got a few less desirable human qualities to yeah. me. <laughs> I'm 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 the like I'm the guy who tries to be nice but normally messes up trying to be nice and help. You're yeah, like, that's that that kind of sums up Hufflepuff. You're trying to help but you usually make a tit of it. <laughs> <laughs> like in the final battle when uh, when everyone was fighting the Death Eaters and Voldemort, there's this Hufflepuff running up with this poster saying, "Guys, I'll help," and he just trips and just <laughs> smashes on the floor. That's the Hufflepuff contribution. <laughs> it it turns out that it's like a potion that could wipe out the Dark Lord. But when he trips up, he spills it on himself and wipes himself out. <laughs> what if I was the Dark Lord all along? Oh. <laughs> no. I, thought, I thought you said the, the final Patel for a the, moment. The final Patel. Sorry, it's a reference <laughs> to Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> like, wasn't there a character in Harry Potter with the name Patel? Pretty Patel, I think. Patel, yeah, it's Pretty. like the final Patel. She's got her own spin off series. I think she was Slytherin. Oh, hang on. Preeti Patel is an MP. <laughs> Hi, oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Patel, Harry Potter. Parvati Patil. Mm, okay. Me being me and not being able to pronounce shit. Oh, she was Ravenclaw. <laughs> okay. I probably pronounced it as Patel just because I didn't know how to read it properly. I think it's the same name, basically, isn't it? It's just because they don't have... You have to translate Patil, it into our Patel, alphabet yeah. so it always comes out differently. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I thought she was just really good at retail work. Yeah. <laughs> she pat, pats her till at the end of every shift. Good yeah. till, good till. Pa- <laughs> yeah. Par- pat Parva- till. Parvati per cash register. <laughs> That's the American version. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> That's the- Is there an American at Hogwarts? There wasn't, was there? There was like I'm sure French, there- Russian... <laughs> we know generic Eastern European was the was the well yeah yeah, yeah. and French, and then there were no they must have had one in the Fantastic Beast movies but I can't remember 
Ah, uh, I haven't seen the Fantastic Beasts oh, movies. Lord. They must have mentioned it. Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh. But I, but I remember, um, I think we've spoken about it before, and we kind of assume that there's not just three schools in Europe. <laughs> They're just like the... They're the high-tiered, popular, it's posh like, schools. Yeah, it's like kind of Cambridge and Oxford universities, isn't it? They kind of like, yeah. they consider themselves the only ones that matter. <laughs> yeah, but then, yeah, okay. That's what I reckon. <laughs> yeah, we, I think we did discuss this, was it probably a Digimon? <laughs> it probably was, actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Check out Digimon World Next Door to play through over on oh. this channel. Oh, oh. Um, I, there was another oh. uh, Detective Pikachu trailer. Oh. I don't know if it was a real trailer or something that someone had just made, but it was like oh. it was a cut of all the all the different Pokemon that uh, were in the in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, and it's, and it's, it's it looks really good. There's so many different. It's like they've they've really gone all in in making a world full of Pokemon. It's looking to be they, a good they, film. They want it to actually, yeah, be like the you'd expect the world to be, and not just like yeah. your Pokemon in each scene. Yeah, like I don't no, know. I'm I'm excited. I am. <laughs> I don't know if the film itself is going to be good for like a story perspective and all that, but like in terms of how they've made it and yeah. they've really, f- I yeah, I think it's just going to be one of those films that even if it's not good. We're still going to kind of enjoy it in some aspect. Yeah. Because it's a Pokemon film in live action. Yeah. With decent-ish effects. Yeah. And it's not just like, um, because what I mean is it's not just, it's not just Pikachu and the other ones that everyone knows. And the rest. Yeah. I can't think of what ones everyone knows because I'm such a big fan. I I know all of them. (laughs) Oh, yeah. It's usually Pikachu and the starters. That's That's it, right. Yeah. uh, Meowth, Jigglypuff. Yeah. They're the only, like, main ones that are like reoccurring in more mm. than like the odd episode yeah that's yeah but it's good they've got like joltix and braviaries and all sorts oh fuck me you love porygon <laughs> porygon should like show up at the end and distort the film and that that's how they end the film yeah it's oh, seizures no, porygon porygon doesn't even turn up in the film at the very end of the credits porygon comes on pete or Oh, because it was Pikachu that caused the seizures, mm. wasn't it? I was gonna yeah. say Porygon could come on, use an attack, and the screen go, just goes to just, white, just cuts as soon as yeah, cuts to white, and that's just how it ends. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> the fans would love that. Go, yeah, or even if they wanted to go even more meta, you'd get Pikachu run on, attack the Porygon, and that's what causes the cut. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and a scientist with spiral glasses, because that was yeah. in that episode. <laughs> I mean, the glasses had a spiral on the front of them. I don't mean they were spiral shaped. Yeah, no, no. Like, like corkscrew lenses. I always wondered about glasses like that. It's like, how do you see through them? <laughs> um, maybe do you his... see through just the black bits or just the white bits? Maybe or... his eyes are shaped like that as well. So oh. when it goes through the glasses, it comes out the right way. <laughs> it's perfect, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or his, his eyes are in reverse, so the glasses yeah. are there to... <laughs> write them sort of thing <laughs> that's how it works <laughs> yep <laughs> oh man I don't know if there's anything else we can talk about um uh, now that Richard isn't here Digimon 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 I don't know when the um the other film is is meant to be coming out uh, oh what like Digimon. the 20th anniversary one 2020 that's all we know yeah <laughs> yeah that's not useful that's not uh, that's ages away it, well, it's it's as far away as the next series of Doctor Who. That's true. But which was which will be better? Digimon. I'm uh, well. <laughs> which well. one isn't directed by and produced by and made by Chibnall? <laughs> it's but, no. <laughs> but I mean, if it's like try, I'll be disappointed. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I feel I part of me's disappointed that it's the adventure cast again. Yeah. As much as I love the adventure cast, there's only so much you can milk out of them. Give the others a try. Yeah. A uh, try. A try. <laughs> but yeah, like obviously I'm always voting for an O2 try. You're always voting for a Tamers try. Yeah, a tra- Tamers O2. Oh yeah, 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 that makes sense. Oh yeah, so what would an O2 try be? Would it be like O2O2? O2 squared? 
Well, it should just... Well, it's the same series as Try, though, isn't it? So it would... Yeah. So it'd be Digimon Adventure Quad? Quad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or just Digimon... Well, well, no, because Mind Digimon card. Adventure... Digimon Adventure is the one which has, like, a full letter title. Then Adventure 2 has numbers and letters. Then Try has full letters. Well, it's 0-2, isn't it? So... Or yeah, but still O two zero two. They're both still numbers. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't uh, matter if an O is a zero or a zero is an O. No. Um. Um. Oh, I thought you were saying oh, it was a letter O and a number two, oh, but you meant oh, the whole title. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What, yeah. No, I meant zero. I sorry. Yeah. It's um, because when I say a zero in terms of like a phone number and stuff, it's like O one one seven. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone does. <laughs> Yeah, so may- maybe if they did a O2 sequel, it'd be Digimon Adventure 04. Yeah, yeah that would make sense, yeah. Because then it'd be Adventure, Adventure 02. But, strictly then speaking, the then Digimon Adventure, Adventure 20th thing is, would be is number 04. Four. Four, yeah. yeah. So we've just got to hope that they actually include O2 in it. But yeah, the, o- not... the only thing we've seen so far about it is the, the Adventure of the main ta- yeah. yeah. So, which is never a good idea. No. Oh, not a good idea. Sorry, it's never a good sign. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got nostalgia for the Adventure Kids, but you're kind of milking it a bit. <laughs> yeah. There's only so much milk you can get out of Mimi's tits, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had enough, I say. <laughs> uh, we need give Kari we... a chance to grow up and use <laughs> her tits for it. I'm still waiting for the gender equal bathhouse episode. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting for the day we see Gabumon without. Yeah, <laughs> I did like that little touch. That was funny. Yeah, he just left his fur up to dry or whatever. Yeah, uh, well, no. As much as there was wrong with Try, there was a hell of a lot right with it yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't perfect, but it wasn't bad. It was just. It felt like every hour and a half film could have been compressed into half an hour. Yeah. And it, 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 a lot of it as well felt like fan service. It's yeah, like yeah. They, they didn't put too much thought into the plot. They kind of just made a basic outline that could be generic for any Digimon yeah. sort of thing. So and then just focused on a new character no one gave a shit about. Oh, Bye. God, yeah. Hello. Who thankfully <laughs> hasn't been in the art for the latest stuff, so... <laughs> ah, they did kill her in yeah. the end. <laughs> they ran Curry over with the tram. Yeah. <laughs> oh... Uh, but yeah, hope, hopefully, given that the this next one is for the 20th anniversary, they'll put super thought and effort into it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, mind um, you, I, I don't know what the Japanese reaction to try was, because that will influence uh, whether this is, like... Because that's the market they care mm. about. <laughs> You'd have to find, like, Japanese reviews of try and then Google Translate them. Oh, God. <laughs> maybe, oh. But I just thought, maybe this new film, instead of Zero Two is Digimon Adventure 2-0. Oh, yeah. 2-0. Mm-hmm. 2-0. Oh, look, I've just, just looked at the side of my computer. Lord Escarin online, but he doesn't want to talk because he's too busy getting a man pumping drugs into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he's online on mobile. Oh, okay. Like his little mobile icon. Yeah. Oh, we, we should take callers. <laughs> <laughs> what well, just like just just rich fans oh, no, just okay. rich i was i thought you meant just like we'd we'd like set up a bit where we try and get a fan to call us or something <laughs> god forbid still no emails oh, by the way <laughs> pantsall pantsall <laughs> oh yeah uh, whatever happened to, whatever happened to the jay woolly <laughs> around him yeah <laughs> um who else was there tilly maybe tilly um no, um, I mean in terms of just like the commenters and she fans counts. She counts as the public. She was a fan. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, um, she does. He's changed it now. It's like something Fontana now, but it used to be Buddy oh, Hidamora. Fuck Hidamora. Yeah, what was it? It was <laughs> Doctor Fontana. <laughs> we named a well, podcast not... after him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is Doctor though, is it? No. <laughs> Oh no, it's changed the. Oh, what is, is it? it? What is it now? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong person. Oh. I can't. Oh, yeah, no, no. Fontana Tessitura. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 
<clears throat> it was some anime thing, wasn't it? Shout out to Fontana <laughs> or Hidamaru or whatever your name is. Mr. Fun- Fontana. Mr. Fontaine. No, <laughs> Hidatara. <laughs> Fonamaru. Oh. Funimation? Akira Toriyama? Uh, Akira Toriyamation? Okay. <laughs> uh... I don't, I, I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know where we, yeah, I don't know where that came from or went to. I've confused myself by thinking about it. Um, let's see. It's my I, life. I've got up the J- Japan, 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 Japan. Ah, uh, see, the only reviews on English Wikipedia are for the English dub. Let me go to the oh. Japan page. Is that Japan? Ooh. That's Japan. And then I'll translate Japan. it. Translate. Uh, do 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 do. They're called the Selected Children, apparently, not the Diddy Destined. Uh, staff, music. I suppose, list, haven't item. they referred to the Diddy Destined as the Chosen Children before? Probably. Oh my god, there's no like uh, reaction or reception oh, on the Japanese like a, version. They literally just like a plot outline. Yeah, they just tell you everything about it. Oh, that's rubbish. No. Oh, well, we'll, we'll never know. Are you Japanese? Write in and let us know. The opinions of oh, Digimon Adventure Tribe you in your home country. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Rototori. <laughs> Rototo- oh, shit. Rototori. That's a, that's a blast from the past. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was... Was that card game? Um, it it might, was one of... The, was it like Metabots or something? Maybe. Or, or it was... Or Digimon... Was it one of the Wonderswan ones or something like that? It might... I it, swear it was um, the uh, Pokemon trading card game, number two, oh, because it was only uh, in... Ah, yes. Because we used, like, Japanese characters yeah, to I try f- and spell out Aussie, and then we looked up what we had actually <laughs> spelled out. Yeah, I forgot we played that. I, I think it was that. Yeah. But anyway, on that bombshell... Well, it is time to end. Ben shell. On that bench shell, it's time, time, time to bend over and end. <laughs> so bend thanks. over and get oh, ready for the darkness. That oh, reminds what? me. There's someone, oh, at, oh, someone no. at work who's pregnant, a lady, and she's oh. um. <laughs> she was she was talking to someone and she was going, oh, you know, someone said, "Are you worried?" And she goes, "Oh yeah, I'm sh- I'm shitting myself a little bit. The, the one thing I'm worried <laughs> about is that I split from my V to my A." <laughs> 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 and that was my reaction. <laughs> that I, is one of the best ways of putting it. Yeah. That is amazing. I said you will be shitting yourself all the time if that happens. <laughs> oh. oh my. You just, just said it so matter of factly and the other person yeah. didn't even react. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, yeah. Only in Britain. I know. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. Okay, oh, that, that that was that was a nice bombshell. Yeah, actually, I'm, that was a nice decent bombshell. Yeah. A nice bombshell. Oh, thank you for reminding oh. me of that because I'd forgotten about that. I <laughs> had that in my mental list to, to say. Uh, I pictured oh. it like Rich was going to say, "Oh, you guys are the worst." As we laughed away at it. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, <laughs> alas, poor Yarick, for he is not here. <laughs> exactly. And on that bombshell, it is oh. time to bend over, split yourself from your VTRA, oh. and enjoy, oh. <laughs> enjoy, <laughs> enjoy uh, a lovely baby. I don't know. Uh. So, if you if you've enjoyed that, 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 was the, that was the sound of enjoyment. Oh, okay, okay. Enjoying a baby, particularly. <laughs> I I'd got the sound in my head ready before you had said the word baby. <laughs> so. I just knew I was going with enjoy. That's what it's like, though. That's what it's like. You, it's like if you're really bursting for the toilet, and then when you finally go, well, the it's pressure just... releases. <sighs> Out it comes. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Like a champagne cork. It's like you've just jizzed, but you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> a baby comes out instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that, isn't that technically what comes out when you jizz? I, they yeah, just not quite formed yet. Millions of half babies, like the male yeah. bits. Millions of deformed ba- Oh yeah. no, that sounds wrong. Um, <laughs> millions of unformed. That's babies. that's if you've that's if you've had your phone in your pocket too long next to your testicles. <laughs> that's what happens. Then you get deformed. Microwave your balls. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, oh man. What I was going to say is if you've by any chance enjoyed any of that, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and... Uh, and enjoy. <laughs> and all that stuff. Enjoy your baby as you send us oh. an email because we'd, we'd love to hear from you to let, let us know uh, if you're enjoying it. He oh. says we'd love to hear from you, but he's the one who gets the emails, not that's us. That's true, that's true. <laughs> or, you know, leave a comment or, or, and, and shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Comments we might see because we act, I do watch the videos. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm usually one of the first two or three people to watch the videos, so probably wouldn't be any comments by that point, but... <laughs> Quick, like, YouTube analytics uh. chat. These uh, oh. the, vi- the videos of the podcast have actually been some of the better performing videos recently, so um, keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, they might have to branch out to twice a week. Hell if no. We had reliable guests. No, 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 I'm vetoing that no, right no, now. No, no. Because, like, this is, this is what, 45, 50 minutes, it's going to take me two or three hours to edit. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't edit them, you just leave them as a chunk. I leave them as leave... one big glorious hole. Ah, one big glorious all chunk. The, all the ums and the errs and the. and the. and the. And the <laughs> Breaths too close to microphone. Breath of the Wild. Dum 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 da 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 Oh dear. But yeah, <laughs> again, when you when you get your switch for Pokemon, I'd definitely recommend that game. <laughs> yeah, I know. But anyway, Boom. see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Well, it's just you and me now, audience, and I don't know what to do or say. So, do 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 do
I've run out of ideas now.